up everybody, welcome back to another video here on Charleston Car Videos. Today we'll be taking a look at the Nissan 350Z for 2003. So stay with us man, the weather's nice, still a little cool outside, but it's the perfect time of year to test out a 350Z. Now this one, this is unique. I mean, it's a little beast of a car. Whoever owned it before did some cool modifications to it. And man, they got it looking extremely sporty. I'm loving the color, liking the wheels. I mean, I love the color combination going from the silver to the black on the hood to the interior. It's pretty tight. So, with no further ado, let's get into it and do our for sale review. Hang with me. All right, everybody, we're inside the 350Z. We're gonna take it down the road here, do our review of the exterior and interior. And uh, while we're on the way down the road, we're gonna drive it, see how it's feeling, let y'all hear it. Pretty custom car here. It's a 2003. Like I said earlier, seems to have some pretty cool mods on it. Let's go ahead and, uh, it is a manual, of course, and uh, clutch is feeling pretty good so far. The AC is blowing nice and cold. That's definitely something you're gonna need. All right, everybody, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the 2003 Nissan 350Z. Oh yeah. Y'all ready, man, I know y'all ready. Let's take a look at it. So how many miles is on this car, right? 141,000 miles. Not too bad, right? I mean, yeah, it's over 100K. But nowadays, Japanese cars, 100K just breaking in. At least that's the old saying, right? Anyways, today, of course, it's a used car video review. If I find any dents, things, imperfections, or anything that I see that's out of place, I will point it out to you on camera because I wanna be as straight up as possible with you about the pre-owned cars that I'm pushing out online to sell. So, if it has any modifications done, as this one does, I'll do as best I can to show you and tell you what it has done and all that. So anyways, let's keep on moving forward. So of course, most people watching this video right now already know it's got an aftermarket body kit on it, okay? Looks like it's fiberglass. One thing you'll notice right off the get-go here is that the actual fenders in the body of the car is a different shade of silver than the silver on that front bumper. So we definitely got the tri-color going on from the black to bright silver to a little bit darker shade of silver. It definitely could use a new paint job at some point in the future and really get everything kind of flowing all in the same color. Now, I do like the two-tone. I mean, it's got a nice look about it for sure. I'm liking the headlights. They definitely got some oxidation going on with them. They got this kind of eyelid thing going on here. Makes it look a little more aggressive, right? Gives it that Japanese look. You know, I like how it's got black rolling down in there. It's got a little bit of mesh right here. So this is all flowing nicely. The front bumper, again, it's really low to the ground. It doesn't have any major rips or tears or anything like that. It is fiberglass. You gotta be careful with fiberglass. You know, I'm probably gonna do a video on lowered vehicles to kind of give some people some tips on how to drive a lowered car because when you're driving a lowered vehicle, you wanna be careful with the bottom of it. You don't wanna hit curbs. You don't wanna do that stuff. You gotta go sideways when rolling over speed bumps and all that. Anyways, just ask if you ever got any questions. I was a guy that dri drove cars slammed to the ground. Now the wheels, let's take a look at them. We got Pantera tires. I thought Pantera was a band. I guess they are tires. Well, they got tons of tread on them. These look like 18s. I may be wrong, but I'm eyeballing them. They look like 18 inch rims. Let's see if we can find the markings here on the Pantera tires to let us know what size exactly they are. And there it is, 245. 35, oh wow, 19, so a 19 inch rim. Now they're made to look like a three piece rim. You see the rivets and all, right? Okay, they're probably not, yeah, they're not real three pieces. I know this stuff, guys. I owned a pair of Volk Racing GTNs, real three piece wheel. I could literally unscrew the center part out, pull it out, had it repainted powder gold and gold. They were a gunmetal at first, chrome lip. So those look like a three piece, but not actually not. They're not a very expensive rim, but still, at the end of the day, 19s, wood tires, you look at it probably 15 to two grand easily on a set of wheels. Now it also has the brake rotors back there, not the rotors, but the, the actual brake calipers painted in red, and you got your, uh, your drilled rotors in the back. They're not slotted, they're drilled, okay? 
Still a nice touch. You go to the car show, looking good. The wheels could use some center caps, of course. And you can tell right there where they were actually having to unbolt the rims from time to time. They chipped it and hit it and all that, okay? So the rims need some love and tender care. It does got a little bend mark right there, but they ride pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Now, I haven't been on the interstate at 55 miles an hour with this car, so I do not know how that's going to work. One thing that's kind of interesting about it, you got a staggered offset here, or at least you got deep dish rims in the back, a little bit, you know, different size in the front. You'll see what I'm talking about. Look how that's a three and a half inch lip right there, maybe even a little more, but it's a big lip on the back. It looks like you got a little bit thicker tire. Yeah, you got 235s up front. You got 275 40s in the back. So 275 40 19, 235 45 in the front. I think that's a 45. Might be wrong. Let's make sure we got it right. 235. Oh gosh, come on, guys. 235. Oh, 245 35. ZR19 in the front, and again a 27540 in the back. So, of course, wider, thicker rim in the back, narrower, lower profile rim in the front. You also got your LED tail lights looking good. Those kind of look like aftermarket lights, if you ask me. They got that kind of gunmetal color in there, which looks good. You got your spoiler that looks factory installed. You also have dual exhaust in the back. And uh, I like how the pipes are kind of going out in different directions. Let's get a little closer look up under the vehicle to see, you know, do we got a catback system? Is it a true exhaust like an HKS? You know, what do we got going on? Huh. Well, I mean, to me, it looks like just regular factory exhaust. I'm going to look a little closer. What in the hell? There's a Ford logo. What? A Ford logo under here. That is odd. Now y'all tell me guys, if, I mean y'all y'all I know some of y'all are experts watching these videos. What in the world is a Ford exhaust doing on the back of a Nissan 350Z? Did Ford and Nissan have some kind of relationship together? I mean, what's going on here? That's interesting. Anyways, See, we got a button right there to open up this hatch up. Still locked. Ugh, hang on, guys. Ugh. Well, one thing for sure, the shocks are in great shape. They're holding this whole hatch up really good for us. Okay, um, here's your trunk space in the back of the 350Z. Again, this is not something you're gonna buy if you need a lot of cargo room, okay? But it does got enough room to get the groceries back there, maybe throw some golf club bags back there, your tennis rackets, all that. You got room for that, okay? Is there anything up under here? Let's take a look. There's a full-size spare sitting right there. Very nice. Again, kind of like a Roadster, not a convertible, but again, this is just a two-seater vehicle, folks which pretty much all y'all know that all right let's keep looking at the car looks like we're missing the uh antenna there you know if you repaint the car get the paint guy to shave that off tack weld up around it smooth it out with some putty boom it'll look perfect this is kind of interesting looks like another little spoiler coming off the roof line there you got the black i know y'all are waiting on it let's get up under the hood take a look around you got your z here a little mud flap down there Let's take a look up under the hood. We'll get to the interior right after we take a look under the hood of the car. We'll give you a little engine rev. You know, before these guys start playing tennis, I'm gonna just rev it up real quickly to let y'all hear it. Ugh. Got your racing pedals down there, here we go. All right. So that's what a Ford exhaust sounds like on a Nissan. It's a very odd combination, but maybe there's something that I just don't know. Anyways, I've heard better exhaust sounds on these cars, okay? Maybe it sounds a little better when you're actually in motion going down the street. Not a carbon fiber hood, guys, okay? Just a black hood. It definitely would look great with a carbon hood on here. Got to spend a little money to do that, though. Got a 3.5 V6. There's your intake system there, okay? Pretty clean. Not too bad. 
all right under the hoods nice and clean though don't see any major oil leaks belts look good all that's looking really nice up under the hood of the 350 not bad there we go all right guys let's take a look at the interior stay with us all right everybody let's move into the inside of the car take a look at the seats the door panels you got power windows power door locks power mirrors one touch settings that's what the a stands for on there for auto up auto down okay got a little cubby hole spot there a little spot there other than that not too bad okay got an air vent right here that goes into right there blows that air right out there and hits you in the face now the seats in the car they're leather of course they're kind of like a racing seat they got big side bolsters on them they're pretty comfortable they definitely need replacing though okay i mean it's a, you know if you really want to make this car into something super special take it to car shows all that and really stunt on people you're going to need to put a set of brimbos in here or not brimbos you're going to need to put a set of uh you know uh corbo seats sparkos recaros you got to get something in here that's got a little more status quo to it okay um you know they don't do louis vuittons and coach seats do they but anyways what you do have is you got some rips in here okay as you can tell these seats have been worn in really good there's been a big hiney sitting there working that seat for over 143,000 miles but it's not ripped in there okay so that's nice it's really just ripped right there and it's interesting that it's just right there because i see always, always a lot of rips in these areas so what is it on people's pants that really make it rip right there is it their jeans and the buttons and things like that constantly doing it i don't know but that's probably the most that's probably the biggest um you know imperfection on the car on the interior side of it right um this is in good shape you got a nismo leather boot right here that looks good e-brake all the plastics look good it's got heated seats passenger seat of course is in a lot better shape of course my phone will ring while i'm doing a review you got a pioneer head unit in here power out with there okay there's how it looks in the back i mean it's not the most you know space to see out the back window but you got storage in here actually cup holders are right there ac pioneer that opens up for storage in there you got volts oil mount per hour up here glove box steering wheels in good shape cruise control there's that i mean at the end of the day guys it's a 350z and uh Looks like there's a little microphone system right here to plug in probably for your Bluetooth so you can do those phone calls through the car. But not bad. The 350C, not too bad. I guess it really comes down at the end of the day, guys, how much is the car and how much you would buy it for. All right, everybody, that's about it for today on the 350Z for 2003. This car's got some age on it getting some gray hairs kind of like me but um if you're interested in it let me know always read down in the description for more pricing information and a link to the vehicle online if you'd like to buy it you want to fly in to charleston want to drive in wherever you live at i'm more than welcome to meet up with you meet you at the dealership pick you up from the airport whatever needs to be done to help you get the car you want i'm your guy on youtube to do it seriously guys if you really want to buy any car you see on my channel i'll help you get it promise i will if you need financing i will help you with that just have a little faith in chad i can do it one other thing i want you to remember guys one other thing to remember remember this used cars are used cars they're not always going to be perfect they will break down not that this one's going to break down on you right afterwards but what i'm saying is, is used cars will break down and have things with them that are man made all right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe here on Charleston Car Videos. I'm Chad, the only YouTuber kicking out for sale reviews like this. I hope y'all are enjoying it. I really do. And stay tuned. We are going to do a video talking about tips and tricks on driving lowered cars. So stay with us.